You, you simply um, tell them, I hope you got the report that I sent yesterday. In case you didn't get it, here's the link again. And then you give them some more reasons why they will want your product. Okay, so here's where you continue to sell the benefit of your products. And this is what you'll do in letter um, in the second in the second letter. Okay, now we go to the third letter. Um, in the third follow up letter, um, you say, um, here are some questions that people are asking about my product. And many times people think the frequently asked questions should belong in some remote um, backstage web page where the person has to click to find out. <laughs> But you need to realize that frequently asked questions are basically objections to buying your product. These are questions that people are ask, asking even before they get your product. So you want to answer those questions as much as possible. So in my third letter, what I say is that here are some of the questions that people are asking about my product. And every answer I give, I am selling the product. So your frequently asked question is also an opportunity for you to continue selling your product. Now let's go to letter number four. Now in letter number four, you say, here are what people are saying about my product. And therefore, what you want to do at this point is to share with them some of your most powerful testimonials. It doesn't have to be long because it's an email and you do not have to share the entire testimonial. In fact, these are going to simply be quotes from the testimonials that are already on the main sales letter. All you're trying to do is that you're trying to reiterate, you're trying to hammer in that nail, you're trying to get that person excited by showing them the social proof that your product really works. Okay, so that's what you do in letter number four. Now, in letter number five, you say, well, here are some of the strongest benefits to getting my product. And then you're giving them some testimonials and you're going to give them benefit. Benefit number one, benefit number two. You can give them either three or maybe up to five benefits. Again, these are going to be the benefits that you've pulled from your main sales letter. So you're going to realize here that your main sales letter and your autoresponder series, they are going to be working hand in hand. Okay, they go, to, they, they go um, together. So you give them some strong benefits, maybe three, maybe five. It all depends on what your product or service, uh, what your product or service is. Okay. Now we come to letter number six. Now in letter number six, now you need to um, to indicate that time is running out. So it's a time is running out on, and you indicate some special bonus that they can get. Now one thing, let me pause here to indicate that this type of autoresponder series is written in such a way that if the person uh, becomes a customer, you must have a system or use an autoresponder service that automatically takes that person out of this series. Okay, so this is not for your... These letters are not for your customers. So as soon as the person buys, so if the person buys on the first um, email, they do not receive the, the other email because they have now become your customer. So these are only for your prospects. So you say time is running out on the special bonus and you, you also talk about how you beat the competition. Maybe um, you, know, you talk about a little about your competitor and say how, what is your unique selling uh, proposition, how your, your product is better than that. Of your closest um, competitor okay by letter seven now you say ask again pressure what's keeping you back from ordering and then you knock down some possible objections okay so you're you're kind of guessing now because you don't know why the person has orders yet maybe it's the price um, you can offer them a discount and again that is why you do not want those persons who have already bought to see this letter you may offer them a discount you may offer them an extra special bonus and and this is where I, I stay at most of my my, my series now, in case you want to make your series a little longer, for in the case of a high price uh, product, then letter eight, I all I tell them again some social proof by saying other people who ordered are already enjoying the benefits. Don't lose out. Okay, so I'm doing some takeaway selling. I'm doing some takeaway selling now by letting them know that other people have already ordered, and um, if they wait too long, then after they might they might lose out. Okay. By letter number nine, I say, here's a limited offer, give them a price reduction, a sneak peek preview, or a secret link where they can get the, um, you know, where they can get the product. And for the final offer now, I say, frankly, you know, I'm puzzled, you haven't ordered yet, and you give them, here you give them the final hard, um, a hard sell. Now, if you want to find out the details of um, this, and where I explain how to um, write each letter, what they say in each email, and so forth, then afterwards, I invite you to go to um, the link here at autoresponderemailsecrets.com where you can get my, my, my software and the ebook manual that details um, what you say in each letter, in each paragraph, 
and this would be very helpful to you, I'm sure.